Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today, I just want to talk about My hair is kind of flat today. I don't know what happened. I just wash it. But yeah. Anyway, so let's talk about today um, a long term relationship and what's the difference with short uh, relationship. So for sure, you guys been there and done that, right? So let's just be real when you meet somebody that all of a sudden you know you guys falling into each other but then kind of like take it easy in that way you know and especially when we have a different character right uh inside people so it could be man it could be a uh, very cool not really showing the emotion that much or uh, a person that is really bubbly and happy and always trying to please the girl so i met with a lot of people throughout my you know my age so uh i don't really surprise when i met somebody just randomly just put it on example okay so when when I met somebody just randomly on the street or at work or when I do my clients and whoever probably the boyfriend or the husband just standing there and then you know just next to the girl the girl or the wife and I can get the vibe that what kind of person they are you know and I met very interesting people that personality wise and you can you can see that how that person it will do every day with the you know with the girlfriend or the wife uh, in a daily basis and when I uh met with person that is really i don't know in the beginning they just like very nice and sweet and try just to get your you know your uh your heart and some some people they also they don't really put it on the table in the beginning but throughout the time and then the the moment and the momentum so you will find that what kind of person they are you know so you have to uh, to get to know people very deep uh, level guys so when you have a, a group of friends i think it's great to just uh, hanging out with them and then having those connection as a friend and then us probably your girlfriend or your bestie if you like uh, one of the guy somewhere outside the the group or inside the group and i think it's great to know them uh in the deep level i mean not just like okay his name is this and then he works at there and then or he he likes this and then he's always hanging out there i think that's not enough to know a person in a deep level right so you have to know them and then you will find that when you you know when you to know during the knowing them and then it become really different level uh in time right and i think it's great to just put it everything on the table don't be fake don't try to be i don't know like a dreamy person because you can tell in the beginning when people just try to please the person the other person very much or so hard just it seems like really fake and then i just like i can't handle it when people are doing that i mean it's great when people or person that you know try really sweet or probably they are sweet it just like they they try too hard 
in the time or in the level that I'm like, why are you trying so hard? Because, you know, when a person or the girl is already click, I think it's, it's easy to go in a way, you know, for a guy to get the heart. But when uh, when the girl doesn't have a click yet, in, you know, when you talk, communication, hanging out, and then for some reason you just don't have like those when people or old school say a butterfly. So meaning not yet. You still not in that level yet. So don't worry. So take your time to know the person and then just to be fun, hanging out, and then try to find things that is really important that you you uh, you think that I think is is great you know to know something that really deeply uh, maybe about the family or about uh, the not the past but I'm saying it's like a little bit history you know it's not wrong to to find the someone history you know because it's really important nowadays guys people it can be really take it you know so deeply when they broke up with somebody else and then the trauma and then those kind of hurts and we can't tell right we can't see from the outside uh, from the other person so this seems like fun but when when you deeply digging more inside you will find something else that oh it doesn't match with what they look you know it doesn't match that they always say or talk about and because we like an actress we like an actor so don't be surprised when in the beginning when you meet a girl or boy that is really charming but then the cons uh, the consistent is not enough yet and they become like a different person so when uh when people getting the into the relationship somehow they just get like why my boyfriend uh change right now we you he used to be like this he used to be like giving me a flower every week or every month and then he's always opened the freaking door when I, when we go out or we go somewhere or do something like that and then we're gonna know and probably you guys all know already about five things that uh, we have to learn about love language so that's gonna be a different conversation with us so let's just talk about this one first <laughs> so uh, yeah so when when a man or a girl it doesn't matter so we have to be really consistent guys so when you show your uh, personality or your uh, character in the in the beginning like you know first step when you meet someone you have to show that a real you not someone that try to be you know because you could like I say we are an actor we are an actress so we can try and manipulate somebody you know but it's not gonna last longer we have to remember that so same thing when you look at for the boy or boyfriend you have to find the easy way the real him or it's just like he tried to charming out and then not consistent you know you can tell when you take your time so for all the ladies take your time so if you want a really long relationship uh, and then happily relationship because like I say in all my videos people change and it is true guys so it's not just a quote that people always like try to uh, give us like a support hope but it is what it is so I can be changed when I grow up probably my hormone <laughs> become changing and then I get those menopause who knows right so we have to think about that one too so but if you maintain your relationship i can take my word or you can take my word that everything's gonna be fine so don't be somebody else so show your real you and then just be fun just have fun so i think it's really a great um 
way to you know to just be fun and that's the the tip for you guys and then for the long uh relationship it can be uh in the way that we into the relationship it's gonna take really time and then energies and then also it could really um take our patience too so we have to understand that moment and then that's really normal for everybody so trust me in that and then you can just more like studying from probably if you have bestie if you have a homeboy or if you have a best friend or whoever and then you can just learn from others uh the perspective i think it's great to see this is where where i learn why i'm really into like you know uh life love or respect people others because i see it is it really helped myself to be a person that i want to be you know when i'm getting old like a model for probably later on when when i have a kids or i have a grandkids so i think it's great and it's also it has for our mental my mental like you know that's what i'm really don't how to say it uh not really swayed by uh people uh perspective at all maybe one time two times like when you know when others like why are you doing this and why are you doing that and i don't blame them to uh, give me any um perspective i respect the perspective but do i listen not much and then i think it's great because i see you know everyone has a different personality but my personality is like I really learn or listen people other people but I'm gonna filter them every word if it's match with what I think is it is then I accept them but if it's not click and I'm still questioning myself meaning I'm not agree so let's pick up and then let's just find out something else that why it's why is that why i don't agree with that you know so you that's why you guys have to understanding and then just learn from your friends if you're still single and then your friends they bring up the boyfriend and then have a date together and then just see them the way they you know they uh, interact with each other and i think it's really fun when you can read them you know you don't have to say that they you can ask any question with them like if you you know you have a question or curious so i think it's great to just ask and then yeah so the the main key here is the short relationship is easy guys you can have anybody you name it whoever the guy is that you really uh interesting with it uh uh or you have admire it so but can you maintain and then can you handle all the faults like people is not perfect you're not perfect everybody's not perfect so can you accept them the way they are inside and out because when you want to have a long relationship you have to accept everything and we as a girl or we as a boy or we as a man a woman we can't change people i know i always when i'm still young maybe in my 18 or 19 before 25th <laughs> i try so hard to change people to change my ex-boyfriend or change like yeah normally it's my ex-boyfriend so but that's not working so the thing we have to learn is how we change ourselves we fix our uh, ourselves first then we fix um we fix things or we can talk about it and then if it doesn't meet in halfway then it's okay so probably we can bend a little bit but we have to have a limits to bend also
because when we bend too much we become I don't know it's not a value you know so we have to be in the level that people can respect us or we can respect them you know that's why we we talk about boundary we talk about respect we we also talk about bending so everything the key in this conversation we can help you know adding here and there here and there and then hopefully along the way when you guys have a relationship with uh with the man or boy or girls that you really love falling in love with it's easier so there's no more like questioning and then you don't feel like someone is changing feeling you know so just make sure what's your uh what you want on your relationship i think it's really important and then please don't change the person if you wanna if you see them flaws and you don't like it ask yourself why and then if you still don't find it then okay you can just talk with him i'm just feeling bothered with this and that so hopefully he can listen and then a good thing is when you meet someone that he can uh, help the relationship by uh, working together because not a lot of men or boys or probably girls that they, they're willing to uh, make sure the the relationship meet in a half way and it can be working out because it's not just one person to work out on this relationship you know mm -mm. it has to be two so when you guys meet in halfway it's perfect relationship but things nothing's perfect but at least for you guys is the perfect relationship so hopefully you guys have and learn a little bit on this uh, content the talk that we have right here and i think it's great to study from others relationship or when when your girl's sharing things and then you just like listening and then okay and then why is that so maybe when you give um share your thought to them then you can just okay probably hope this and if it's work out for them then it's perfect and then have every uh, relationship is going to be a different challenge so don't don't think that everything's going to be the same so no but at least you found the key that is really important to edit for your relationship so hopefully this is help and then it i uh entertain to you guys on this video so thank you for watching and i'm gonna continue washing my meals i mean washing my plate and i will see you guys tomorrow and take care